Good morning guys, Unfrequented World, and I have excellent news today. I was just in touch with DJI. They've got my drone, they've assessed the damage. It is covered under my warranty package that I bought the uh, DJI Refresh. Um, so they are going to send me, I don't know if they're fixing my camera and sending it back or sending me an equivalent new one. I don't know. It ended up costing me $104 Canadian on top of the insurance I already bought. Um, they did give me a full breakdown of what was uh, broken down and there were a couple of things I hadn't priced out. Uh, the motor arms on the left side, they said both of them were bad, whether that's true or not. So it would have actually cost me more money if I was going to repair the drone. I had figured 80 some dollars Canadian in parts and then my time of course. So they were telling me it was $140 American. Plus, um, I would have had to pay shipping if I didn't have the coverage. So in the end, it worked out, guys. I paid the same by buying the insurance and then paying them the $104, $79 American charge to get the drone back. So in the end, it was an expensive break. It cost me a couple hundred bucks. Um, but we are covered for one more crash. So if that happens again, I would have to use it because I've already paid uh, for the insurance and everything else and I would uh, just make damn sure that there's enough damage to warrant sending it back to them and getting a new one. <laughs> Hate to say that guys but that if you're gonna charge me $130 American to send it in again I'm gonna make sure there's more than $130 worth of damage there. I probably shouldn't say that on the video. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. No. Anyway guys, uh, so that's excellent news. I should have the uh, drone back next week and I've got a couple other items that when we get it back we can review. I'll show you those right now. So here guys, I have bought the Sunny Life uh, filter set for the Mavic Pro. It consists of six filters. Comes in a nice little hard case here. I haven't opened this yet, so all right, there we go. So we've got uh, ND filter set for the Mavic Pro. As a real life photographer, I understand how essential these things are in regular photography, so I assume that these are gonna help me get even better shots out of my Mavic Pro. And uh, this six filter set uh, was about $30 off Amazon. So this set here, the Sunny Life, comes with mixed reviews on Amazon. Um, Quite a few people were saying that the lenses don't fit on the Mavic um, camera the way they should. And I'm just wondering, I'm hoping that that's, uh, that's just user error. If uh, you follow the instructions and put these on properly, there shouldn't be a problem. The gimbal uh, does an auto test before it starts up every time and it moves through all of its rotations. And people are saying that these get caught. And then other people say that they uh, work fine. So. We're gonna try it out. We've got the full set, um, ND4, 8, 16, 32, uh, polarizer, and we're gonna do some tests. We'll do a video um, comparing without filters and with filters, and I'm hoping that these are gonna make a nice difference on sunny days. Okay, and this second item I bought was the uh, Mavic Pro Tablet Stent. So it has a, an arm that you put onto the controller um, that we have for the Mavic Pro and then it's got a movable um, holder that you can put your tablet or your phone in. The problem I have now is that the phone, when I put it into the remote, the buttons on the end of my phone are getting pressed by the arm on the controller all the time. It does not fit well and uh, I just don't like it. So we're going to try this. I hate carrying extra stuff around guys. But uh, as it is right now, I find it really annoying to use the controller. So let's open this and take a quick look, and uh, then we'll try it out when we get the drone. Okay, so here it is, guys, two parts. This bottom arm goes into the controller, and then this will click onto the top, and we put our phone or our tablet in here. Um, very easy to connect. It just comes with this one piece here. We slide that over top of the ball joint, click the ball joint on and then tighten down the connector. And then you can adjust this whichever way you want. So this piece was about $20 on Amazon 
And um, yeah, it's something else I have to carry, but uh, it's, enough of a, it's enough of an annoyance with the controller arm hitting the buttons on the phone that I think I'm going to end up carrying this. So this drone update has been brought to you by Unfrequented World, an unsponsored entity who pays for his own mistakes out of his own pocket. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned next week. We'll have the drone back, and we'll be up and flying before you know it.